Hi folks, Alex Klingelhafer here with Exential Wealth Advisors. It's 6.50 here in the middle part of the country on Thursday, April 1st, 2021. Here's your morning jog around the economic headlines of the world. Oil's up a little bit today as OPEC Plus is meeting once again. Uh, of course, OPEC has about 7 million barrels per day of oil production sidelined. Today's meeting is to see if they should relax some of those cuts, let some of that oil back into the world economy. Originally, uh, OPEC had said, they, hey, we're looking to increase production maybe in, in April, May timeframe. New, not, excuse me, new lockdowns in Europe are leading to uh, some hesitation for them to return some of those barrels to market. They seem to like a $60, $65 price tag, sort of decreases incentives to drill here in the U.S. Uh, we will see if, if they continue to roll over those cuts, support the price a little bit, or introduce you know, 500,000, a million barrels uh, to the market. Uh, as Eurozone factory data came out overnight and knock the doors off uh, it's the largest uh, increase and the uh, highest number the european pmi hit here uh, 62.5 in march 50 is sort of a normal economic level 62.5 is crazy high that's interesting to me we've been talking about this bifurcation right us doing well europe not doing so well on the vaccine front well now they're doing very well clearly in the economic data and the hard data in the manufacturing uh, segment now that data may come down when the suez numbers roll in next month but it seems like the european business community is doing well despite uh, poor leadership and poor uh, vaccination of their countries that's uh, really interesting apple's going to build a new uh, battery based solar energy plant they already have the solar energy i guess grid out in california it's about 35 miles southwest of monterey it's going to uh, fuel some of their operations out in california it's going to be i think 240 yep 240 megawatt hours remember tesla building a 100 megawatt hour project just south of houston so it's interesting that all of these tech companies are now building their own batteries building their own grids and then sort of branching out to the to the larger demographic if they continue to to do that of course we're, we've been talking about rare earth materials going up battery materials going up just really industrial materials going up all of these green projects are going to require lots of materials google setting a new standard really with a huge project out in california and before we get you off to a nice weekend we're closed for good friday so it won't be an update video tomorrow an nft firm uh, nft investments is the name is launching on the london stock exchange uh excuse me the aqua stock exchange in london they're looking for 10 million bucks to go buy nfts non-fungible tokens uh, digital art and paying for metadata. Not an April Fool's joke. 10 million bucks to go buy metadata. It's a crazy world. That's all I had for today. If you want additional information throughout the day, feel free to follow me on Twitter. It's OKCCFACFE. Until then, have a good Easter weekend. I'm out.